Today is a huge day in my fishing career. I'm gonna be headed to Bass Pro Shops to pick up my very first fly fishing combo. Now you may ask, Trey, do you know anything about fly fishing? Absolutely not. I don't know anything about fly fishing whatsoever. So we're gonna learn together. We're gonna make our way to Bass Pro Shops, look at all the different options and pick out the best deal on the best fly rod for freshwater bass, peacocks, snakeheads, clown knives, you name it. I wanna catch it. So let's get to Bass Pro Shops, look at our options, and hopefully we can find some help and get on some fish. I'll see you there. All right, we've made it into Bass Pro Shops and I'm looking around and there is just an endless amount of fly rods. I have no idea what I'm looking for. I'm gonna look at all the options and see what I think is gonna be the best bet for me. We're gonna try to keep it under $100 because it is my introduction to fly fishing. I don't wanna break the bank. As my friend Smalls would say, the bank can be broken. My card does have a limit. Let's look at all the different options and find the fly rod that fits me best. I've found the fly rod that I'm gonna get. It is $79 for a White River Dogwood Canyon nine foot eight weight four piece graphite technology fly rod. Do I have any idea what any of that means? No, I don't. But I think this is going to be the deal for going to catch the peacocks, maybe some snakeheads, and we're going to see if I like fly fishing. All right, so these awesome employees at Bass Pro Shops are going to help me pick out everything I need to go catch fish on the fly for the first time. They are calling their fly fishing expert in to help me right now. And that is much appreciated because I don't know anything about this at all. All right, so I got the special hookup right now. We are going in the fly shop to get everything I need for fly fishing. I have no idea what I'm doing, completely clueless. I think I got some good help here. It's gonna be extremely appreciated and we're about to learn everything we need to know and go catch some fish. This is our Dogwood Canyon fly rod. It's a fly rod combo that's basically made just for people who are getting started or people who aren't going to be doing it for too long of a time at $80. It's a great combo. So for as far as specifications, this is a nine foot, eight weight, four piece. What does that mean? So nine foot obviously being the length of the rod, four piece, meaning that the rod will break down into four pieces. Good travel rod. Exactly. Well, most fly rods in general are going to be four piece. So the reason being is that they're long, they're fragile, and you usually do have to travel with them. So that's why they'll all break down into four pieces. And then the most important thing is that eight weight. So the way a fly rod is scaled is in weights, starting at obviously a one weight, and then they go up to about a 12 or 14 weight. Um, one, two, three, and four are typically your trout fishing weights, your bluegill fishing weights, five, six, and seven. And sometimes eight is your freshwater stuff for your bigger fish. And then typically your saltwater fly Fly fishing starts at an eight weight all the way up to 14 with 12 and 14 being your 150 pound tarpon, your 300 pound marlin, stuff like that. But an eight weight is great for everything freshwater as far as the big flies goes, peacock bass and eight weight is very popular. That's actually what I use for peacock. Really not because you need the eight weight, but because you need the eight weight to throw big flies. That's really it. The only thing you would need to get started right now would be flies and a leader. So since this is a nine foot rod, you typically use a nine foot leader. So for a leader for peacock bass fishing, we have them over here. So typically for peacock, I'll do anything between 10 to 15 pound tippet. And what that tippet means is that every fly rod taper or leader is tapered, meaning where it touches the fly line is thicker than where it touches the fly. So it gets skinny as it goes through the leader. Reason being when you lay out a cast, the heavier part of the leader will land first and then the lighter part will land last. So whenever you see a pound test here, 13 pound, 20 pound, 16 pound, that's at its weakest point, which is at the very end. For peacock bass fishing, you can do anything between 10 to 15 or 16 pound. I like I, it on the heavier side. I, I tend to do it on the heavier side as well, not because peacock are necessarily heavy fish, but because where you find peacock is usually underneath a lot of structure, culvert pipes, uh, walls. If there's a shopping cart in the lake, chances are there's a peacock in it. That shopping cart pattern's crazy. No, it's, it's insane. Every time I find a shopping cart, there's a five pound peacock sitting in it somewhere. Every time. So that's why I typically like to go with like a 15 or a 16 pound tippet, just because you get frayed up pretty easily pulling them out of the cover. So if I was gonna recommend you something right here, especially since you said you like going on the heavier side, this is a pre-made leader. So it's nine foot long, 16 pound tippet, which means at the very end of the leader, it's gonna be 16 pound. Where it touches the fly line, it'll be around 30 pound. Usually at the loop, it's twice the diameter than at the tip. So this right here would give you a good loop to loop connection and you'd be ready to fish in with just a couple flies. 
awesome i actually so i got this tippet right here and i just learned more in three minutes than i've ever in my life learned about fly fishing lifetime of doing it so you fly fished your whole life since i was seven years old seven. today is my first day ever get ready ever for touch the one was you you get one on the fly rod it's a wrap really yeah it's going to be challenging to pick up the spinning rod after this really yep 100 percent. the fight on a fly rod when you set the hook and you feel the fish in your hand you're literally tug of warning the fish that so is, you're basically so the what's the like the proper technique so you have two different types of hook sets with a trout with a fly rod you have a trout set and a strip set so what a trout set is is what most people are going to be doing in a trout stream you see something hit it you pick the rod up super high you know just like you would do bass fishing or something to set that hook now in saltwater fly fishing that's your worst enemy you'll lose every single fish trying to pick up the rod and bass fishing, saltwater fly fishing, you're gonna do a strip set, which means as you're retrieving the fly to you and that fish hits the fly, you basically do what I call the Y motion, where you pull this hand over this way and then the rod is gonna to come to your right hand side. So what that does is it pulls the hook straight into the fish's mouth. If you try to set the hook on a saltwater fish or a peacock by lifting the rod tip, fly rods are very soft. So there's not enough backbone in the rod to pull the hook into the fish's mouth. That's why you use your hand. If you try to set the hook with the rod tip, it's not gonna set and you'll lose the fish. So it's really important in any, any type of fishing where you're using a streamer really, you wanna pull the hook into the fish's mouth. You don't wanna use the rod, you wanna use your hand. Because to it's too flimsy. Hook. Too flimsy, you don't have enough backbone to pull the hook into the fish's mouth. Well that is some um, crucial information that I did not know. So apparently, it's gonna be hard to pick up the spinning rod for peacocks after this. Hopefully I can catch one. The absolute goal would be a big snakehead, like for sure. So the snakehead, you wanna work a lot of the canals around here, uh, especially the, runs, the ones that run north and south, as opposed to east and west. Um, what you can use for snakehead on a fly rod is really any big bait fish fly. But some of my favorite things, which this is gonna go back to spin fishing, is a frog. So what everybody uses down here on the bait casters and a spinning reel is a frog. Uh, the booyah frogs, pad crashers, stuff like that. But for a fly, this right here is a spun deer hair, topwater frog. If, so that, I had, if I had to go catch a snakehead on a fly rod right now, this would be the go-to. So that's made out of deer hair? Yeah, so the, the belly of a deer, the hair on it is hollow, whereas the, the hair on its tail is dense. So because the hair is hollow, we can make these topwater flies and it'll float just as high as balsa wood or any other hard bait top water. So those work good too. And then you also have stuff like this. This is a foam popper. A double barrel popper is exactly what it's called. And those would work great for snakehead too. That is awesome. Thank you so much for the crash course. Anytime. You need anything, you come let me know. I think I'm going to get an extra leader just in case. Not a bad idea. I did. Yeah, I got it just like a four minute crash course. I've learned more about fly fishing in four minutes than I've ever <laughs> yeah, it was worth it. It was worth it. Of course. So, hey, well, my uh -oh. name is Johnny. If you need anything, let me know. Good, to Good meet luck you. out there. Yep. Just look for any shallow water. Right now, the peacock are spawning. They are so up there. So, you're just going to sight fish them. Fly selection isn't that important. Just use a small bait fish. But they're too aggressive for their own good. If you, oh, can, yeah. if you can get the fly within five feet of them, you're going to bite it. I've yeah. been catching them all week on conventional tackle, oh, yeah, and I decided do. it's time. It's they time to like, try something new. In my opinion, they like the flies more. Really? They, they like that really small, like the hair, the hair that, that fluid presentation. And with the fly, you can keep it in front of their face longer because right. it's not going to sink. So you can leave it right there until they get mad enough, they're just gonna smash it. They're gonna keep, they're gonna go spin around on it yep, and they're they gonna might, bite they, it. They might kiss it a few times, just keep teasing them until they get mad and they'll smoke they're it. They're gonna bite it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Always. Well, thank you, dude. Of course, good luck About to get there. after it. Come see me and let me know if you guys need anything. Okay? Will do, thank you. Have a good one. All right, we got everything we need. We got the White River fly combo. We got two liters in case we break off. Now, there's nothing left to do, but go get on some fish and learn the fly let's get it all right we've made it outside from bass pro shops we've got the white river dogwood canyon nine foot eight weight put it all together here see middle oh yeah it are all lined up here so sick that looks pretty daggum good to me so we're gonna take our bag so it don't run away we're gonna put it right there for the time being Oh wow, yeah, I have no idea how to do any of this. So this is gonna be interesting. How do you get the rubber band out? So right there is that. Take the rubber band. Hmm, 
probably just gonna cut the rubber band if we're being completely honest here get my handy dandy box cutter out of my door rubber band I hope we don't need this it's gone now all right let's get some of this leader what is this called tip it saltwater tapered leader 16 pound test nine foot length loop to loop connection I don't know what any of that means but we're about to give it a go and see what happens put our trash back so the wind don't take it away all right i have my nine foot eight weight fly rod rigged all the way up and i tied on my tippet with it with a crazy alberto knot and you know i'm just not sure if that's right so if it's not you can clown me in the comments if you want or you could just be like hey do this and it'll be better but that's what we got right now we got some yellow fly line so as the awesome guy from bass pro explained the tippet the closer it is to the fly line the thicker it is and the closer the leader is to the bait the thinner it is so the 16 pound tippet is 16 pound breaking strength at the end of your line and 30 pound close to the leader this whole video is inspired by my good friend Roz flies from charlotte north carolina he hand tied me some special flies for all types of exotics down here in south florida and my goodness those look really good oh what do we have here oh yeah there's a bunch dude oh, oh my gosh that is gonna be the deal wow that looks so good i can't wait to catch a fish on that i'm just gonna tie it on normal i guess i don't know any other way all right we are rigged and ready let's go get to the pond and see what we can catch we're gonna start with this electric chicken color chartreuse and pink fly let's get to fishing all right we have made it to the spot we have my obnoxiously large fly rod it's nine foot long now the only thing left to do catch some ginormous peacocks hopefully hopefully they play nice today because i am a rookie when it comes to the fly rod oh come on oh this is gonna be really really hard oh no already snagged up Oh, this is going to be difficult. Oh, no. Well, this is not starting off very good. Hey, I got it back. No way. Well, that's crazy. My hook all been out? Nope. She's good to go. Oh, no. Hey, Mr. Iguana. This is gonna be extremely difficult. I'm gonna get clowned all in my comments. Fall fishing's so easy. I'm clueless out here. Ooh. Target spotted. I didn't even see him. She's gonna tire this video, world's worst fly fisherman. All right, let's start off easy here. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh my gosh, I got one. No way. Oh, come here, come here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, first fish on the fly combo. No way. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be so difficult. Oh wow, this is literally gonna be way harder than I thought, but we finally, finally got one on the fly. Oh my goodness, first fish on the fly combo ever. I definitely haven't got too good at the casting part yet, but first fish of the day on the fly rod is a good sign. Let's get him back and see if we can't figure this fly rod the rest of the way out and catch some more fish. Yeah, so awesome. Oh, well, there he goes. Oh yeah, we're getting it down now. Oh, 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 I got one. Oh my gosh, come back. Oh God, how do you reel him in? How do you reel him in? Oh my goodness, I got a big one. I've literally got a giant. How do you reel him in? Oh, oh, come here, come here, come here. I'm gonna use the reel. Come back, come here. Oh, oh no, that's a gorgeous peacock. Oh my gosh, come here, come here, come here. How do you reel him in? Oh my goodness. 
No way. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh my gosh, guys. No way. No way, no way. I'm catching them. Oh no. Come back, come back, come back. Oh. Come back. Please come back. I'm reeling them in with the reel. Oh, come back. Come back, come back. Come back. Come back. Oh. My gosh. Come here. Come here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We're getting it done on the fly rod, baby. That's a good one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Solo fly fishing mission is off to a great start. Let's go, baby. On that little pink and chartreuse fly. That one's beautiful. Such an awesome fish, man. You can't beat it. All right. Second fish on the fly rod. Beautiful male peacock. That big old dome head. On the fly rod of all things. Gosh, this is so awesome. Thank you. Thank you to the Bass Pro Shops employee for helping me pick out everything I need to know. Got to work on my casting because it's not good. But we are having some success. Let's get this fish back, see if we can't catch another one. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so awesome. I'm so glad I got out of my comfort zone to come catch these beautiful fish on a fly rod. You're awesome. Go back and make some more babies and don't bite anybody else's fly but mine. See ya. Graceful, beautiful release so awesome gosh i love these fish so much they're the best casting is still very difficult oh yeah we're getting there now oh not the tree dang it <clears throat> All that work for what? For nothing. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. Can you fish that way, please? Can I go that way? Just. That's, that's private backyard, my man. That's someone's house, and this is my house. Okay. Thank you. Dang, they're running a snakehead. Well, so far, so good. We have caught two peacocks on the fly. A little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be, not gonna lie. This is not easy, but I'm throwing. Here's what I'm throwing. I don't even know what it is or what it's called, so I'm not even gonna act like I do, but it's just a little pink and yellow fly with some, some little eyeballs on it. Looks good, and it obviously works because we've already caught two. I've caught more trees than I have fish, though. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm definitely not as graceful with the fly rod as I am with the spinning rod. That is for sure. That's a big peacock right there. If I can even get a cast to him. Come here. We definitely have not mastered the long cast, but we are getting a little bit more comfortable with reeling and I think it's called stripping the line back. Get a little bit easier. Not much, but you know, any little bit helps. Oh, here he is. On the traffic cone. Gosh, how does this keep happening? Gosh, this is so hard. Ah. What is going on here? This is a mess. There's no way people actually enjoy this. Like how? This is a disaster. Give me my spinning rod. See, it just don't go anywhere I want it to. How do you do this the correct way? I'm dying to know. This is just not working for me. Spooked him off. Dadgummit. So, so far, we have two fish. And, you know, they're pretty big. I'm not going to lie. Catching them so far has been difficult, but it has proven to be pretty fun. You actually catch and fight the fish like hand-to-hand -hand combat style so completely different way completely new to me but you know it's always good to get out of your comfort zone and try something new every once in a while and this is a good switch up oh yeah we're getting some line out oh yeah stay out of the trees oh yeah only thing we're really lacking right now is the distance the long cast is 
proven to be difficult. I can't keep it out of the trees. There's a picnic table right here with a ginormous peacock on it. Oh no. Oh yeah, good cast. Good cast for me. Oh yeah, we're getting it out there. Oh, oh I got him. He's running. What do I do? Oh, come back, come back. Oh my gosh. I'm reeling. I'm using the reel. I'm using the reel. Come back. Don't go in the picnic table. Get here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. Boom, baby. Let's go. We're doing so good. Probably not, but kind of for me, we are. Let's go. Beautiful peacock. So awesome. Oh, still on that pink and chartreuse fly. Let's go. My third fish ever on a fly rod. Beautiful peacock. So awesome. These fish are, these fish are literally the best and it makes them even more fun with a new challenge such as the fly rod. The technique is definitely not there, but we're still getting some pretty decent results. Let's get him back and see if we can't catch a couple more. Oh my goodness. There's a, there's a picnic table right here with a giant peacock on it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I dropped him. Oh yeah. We're getting it out there. Lucky for me, these peacocks are all in the bank, so you don't really need a super long cast to get them. That is gonna work to my advantage for sure. Oh, we kissed it. Come back. Gosh, I keep getting tangled. This is not as easy as it seems. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Come on. Somebody's got a turkey in their yard. Oh, I got him. Oh my gosh. Come back, come back, come back. Oh, I got him. Oh my gosh. No way. No, don't go in the picnic table. No, 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 no. No, oh my gosh. He's in the picnic table. He got out. Oh my gosh. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my gosh. Come here. You're so big. Come here. I'm literally playing tug of war with a peacock right now. Oh, the jump. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so much fun. Come here. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh my goodness, dude. No, stay out of the table. Stay out of the picnic table. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh yeah, come here. Oh yeah, come here. Yes, oh my goodness. Let's go, let's go. We're catching peacocks on the fly rod, baby. Let's go, this is so awesome. There's a picnic table right there and he went through the picnic table and somehow I managed to pull him back out. Wow, look at those colors on that fish, that beautiful false eye orange belly goodness so awesome like a three pounder that's a good one for sure thank you for making my fly rod experience 10 times better hit some cool jumps for us too you are awesome mr peacock i love you so much thanks for playing with us mr peacock we will catch you next time let's go baby with the release yes dude gosh this is so much fun there's a peacock in this table right here that's way bigger than the ones I've been catching. I really wish I could get to him, but I just don't think I can with this fly combo. All right, this little guy right here has been to it and through it. He's kind of running out of hair. So we're gonna cut him off, put him back in our handy dandy bag here. Thank you, Mr. Fly, you've been awesome. Let's see, what other colors do we have? Oh yeah, white and pink, white and pink. That's gonna be the one right there. Come on, Mr. Fly. Let's catch some big peacocks together. Tie a nice little knot, cinch it down. Fly number two tied on a little pink, white with a little bit of green tinsel in there. Looks good, it's really good. Oh, you're getting so mad. You're getting angry. You're getting angry, Mr. Peacock. Oh yeah, keep getting mad. He's getting madder and madder every cast. Oh, 
Come on, get fired up for me. Get fired up. Get fired up. Oh, yeah. Good cast. Here it comes. Ready? Oh, let's go. I got him. Oh, no, he come off. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, setting the hook is so hard. Oh, yeah. Another peacock. Boom, baby. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come back. Come on. Play nice. Come here. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Dude, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We are getting it done. Check that out. Ow. That hurts so bad. Check that out. Peacock on the fly. Boom, baby. I knew these little flies were going to be the gas. These peacocks can't stand bright, shiny, flashy lures. They got to eat it. They literally don't have a choice. Catching on the fly rod has been so much fun. I'm so glad I did this. One last look. This beautiful peacock. We will get you back to your home and your peacock friends. See ya. Yes, let's go, baby. Gosh, this is so much fun. I'm really bad at it, but it's still extremely fun there's a pretty male right here let's see if we can catch him come here mr peacock oh he come off dang it what is going on up here come on i need you right now I need you to clutch up for me i think a fly rod's about the most tangly thing you can ever purchase i ain't doing nothing but getting tangled Oh yeah, oh yeah, I got him, that's a good one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm letting the fly rod fight him. Oh, the jump, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, come here. Tug of war, tug of war, tug of war, yes. Good thing I'm stronger than you, Mr. Peacock. Oh yeah, come here, come here, come here, stop it. Yes, dude. On the fly. Gosh, this is awesome. Thank you, Ryan, for tying me some flies. Oh, my goodness. Gosh, that is so awesome. You can really feel the true power of these fish on that fly rod. It's so long and limber, you can just feel them. You can feel their muscle, and they jump like crazy. Wow. Completely, a complete new aspect of peacock fishing on a fly rod versus spinning rod. Very challenging, but I am having fun. I am enjoying it. Ow, you're so awesome. Gosh, these fish truly are one of my favorites to catch. Just so mean, so beautiful, and fun every time. We'll get you back. See ya. Yes, dude. So awesome. Look how nasty that fish just got me. Disgusting. Gosh, this fly rod is the most tangling thing on the planet. All it does is tangle. Maybe it's because I'm so bad with it, but good grief. Does this thing get tangled? This is not ideal to take your kids fishing. I'd probably stick with the Zebco 33 if I was taking my kids. I don't even have kids, but I know I wouldn't be teaching them how to fish with a fly rod. The peas are loaded in this spot though, for real. There's, there's a peacock every 10 foot. Not used to having a nine foot tall fishing rod. I'm just living in the trees. pair of peacocks sitting on this rock right here and they are being very difficult come on i'm getting better at stripping at least more comfortable with it anyway Boom. oh yeah oh yeah come back. oh yeah i got him let's go i finally worked him enough to get him goodness come here all right i'm gonna reel you up with the fly line with the rip oh my gosh she's so strong oh my goodness come here come here come here come here oh yeah on the fly give me a little jump oh here you go let's go got him yes we have successfully did it we've completed our mission we have done it we have done it we have done it 
Yeah, such a good fish. Super solid, super healthy. Each peacock has a different false eye too. Super awesome, super unique. And I'm so glad I get the opportunity to come down here to South Florida, catch these beautiful fish. I'll get you back. Oop, nope, you gotta be graceful. Be graceful, be graceful, be graceful. There you go. So awesome. Oh yeah, baby. Thanks for watching. We got the last peacock on right now. He's in the rocks. Oh my gosh. Yes. Last fish. Boom, baby. Oh yeah, we got him on the fly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh no, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come back. Get over here. Come here, come here, come here. Use the reel. Oh, come back, come back, come back. Come back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come here. We got him. Yes. Oh no. We got him. Yes. Yes, last peacock of the fishing mission. Someone has called the cops and we got to go. Like I was saying, each individual peacock has different false eyes on his tail. Big and beautiful. Thanks for coming out to play on this beautiful Wednesday. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like, drop a comment down below. Give me some suggestions. What do you guys want to see? Till next time, I'm going to get you back. And thanks for watching. Peace. Yes. Boom, baby. All right, let's get out of here before the cops show up. All right, we have made it into Bass Pro Shops. Oh, just broke it. Dang it.